The mystery drama series The Taylor on Netflix was initially called Terzi, and it was created by Honor Guvenadam. The primary actors are Ade Ulusoy, Sally Badensai, Sifaner Gul, and Algan Simsek. The Turkish drama series, which was conceptualized by Gulsrin Budekalu, is said to be based on a true story. It centers on Peyami Dokumak, a well-known tailor with a sinister history whose life is intertwined with that of Esfit, his best friend's engaged partner, who also has a troubled past. Payami and Esfit must face the repercussions of their secrets as their relationship deepens. With a bang, the first season comes to a conclusion, yet many doubts remain. Here is all the information you need to know about the The Taylor Season 1 ending if you're looking for explanations for some of the show's mysteries. Spoilers alert! The Taylor Season 1 Recap In The Taylor, Payami Dokumak, a successful and well-known tailor who lives in Istanbul, Turkey, is the main character. Mustafa, who suffers from mental illness and has childlike intelligence, is the father of Payami. As a result, Payami avoids Mustafa and feels guilty about his father. Payami is compelled to go back to his boyhood home and take care of his father after his grandfather passes away. Sulan, Mustafa, and Payami's grandma follow him to Istanbul. Payami, however, makes an effort to conceal Mustafa from everyone and keep him a secret. Dimitri, Payami's closest friend and the son of a wealthy family, is getting ready to get married in the meantime. The bride's wedding dress is fitting as slack, so Dimitri's mother asks Payami to take a look at it. While wearing a blindfold, Payami approaches the bride, Esfit, and begins mending her gown. Dimitri, on the other hand, regularly abuses and mistreats Esfit. Payami, who is looking for a carer for his father, meets a woman named Furuz, who is actually Esfit. Esfit manages to escape Dimitri's imprisonment and finds refuge with Payami. She takes up the role of Mustafa's care, but Sulan places a requirement that she wed Mustafa. In the meantime, Esfit's parents, who had planned the wedding, come under fire from Dimitri's frantic hunt for her. Dimitri's father, Ari, on the other hand, feels ashamed of his son's plight. Dinner is served at Payami's home for Dimitri and his family. Esfit unintentionally permits Mustafa to leave his room which infuriates Payami. Esfit is fired by Payami, and when she contacts her father, Dimitri and his men nearly catch her. Returning to Payami's home, Esfit accepts Sulan's request and secretly marries Mustafa. She thus stays in Payami's house and is kept safe. Payami, however, quickly learns Esfit's real identity after spotting her wearing the bridal gown he made for Dimitri's wife. Esfit will relocate to London, UK, where Payami intends for her to begin a new life, as part of her decision to shield her from Dimitri. Esfit and Payami, however, find themselves connected to one another and experience love impulses. The Blood Brothers clash as Dimitri surmises that Payami has been defending Esfit the entire time and becomes determined to get his fiancée back. The Taylor Season 1 ending, Does Dimitri Find Esfit? Is Payami dead? The seventh and final episode of the first season brings an end to Dimitri's search for Esfit. Esfit's bracelet was discovered earlier by Dimitri in Payami's home, which gave him cause for concern. But Dimitri's suspicion is only confirmed when he makes the necessary connections and realizes that the enigmatic woman Payami has hired to take care of Mustafa is actually his missing fiancé. Dimitri consequently thinks Payami is defending Esfit because they are in love. On the other side, because Dimitri and Payami have been friends since they were little, we also learn about their friendship. Dimitri, however, detested it when his best buddy received something that belonged to him. The same is clear when Payami receives a foal that was born to Dimitri's horse from Ari, Dimitri's father. The nature of the relationship is thus symbolized by Dimitri confronting Payami in the final episode at the ranch while acting out of control. Payami, who adores Esfit, is adamant about defending her. Dimitri pulls a gun on Payami during their final encounter after the latter declares his love for Esfit. Esfit, on the other hand, arrives with Payami's grandfather's gun and threatens Dimitri with it. Payami leaps in between them and makes an effort to defuse the situation. Esfit, however, mistakenly shoots him while attempting to harm Dimitri. Payami collapses to the floor and appears to lose consciousness. The bullet merely gave him a slight wound to the chest, and he is still breathing. It is therefore doubtful that Payami died as a result of the injuries. Esfit is no longer protected by Payami now that he is dead, and the future of the couple is uncertain. Who is Payami's mother? Payami and Esfit are connected in the series through hidden connections that none of them is aware of. In the final episode of season 1, Esfit accompanies Payami to a concert where she discovers his actual motivation. Payami is trying to find his mum. Payami found a box with the name Kuraz and a picture of Mustafa's wedding after his grandfather passed away. Payami consequently thinks Kuraz, the woman in the photo, is his biological mother. Payami tells Esfit that he has been pursuing Osman, the third person in the picture, in an effort to seek down his mother. Payami is unaware that Osman is aware of his true intentions, so he extends an invitation to Kuraz to attend the concert. Kuraz silently observes her son performing during the occasion, but she keeps her identity a secret. Kuraz further says that she cannot meet Payami because doing so will simply make his situation worse. As a result, Payami's parentage remains a mystery at the end of the season.
It is assumed that Kuras, like Esfit, had a previous marriage to Mustafa and gave birth to Payami. But for the time being, it is still unclear why she withdrew from meeting her son and why she left Mustafa and a young Payami in the care of the latter's grandfather. Why is Ari searching for Esfit? Everyone, with the exception of Ari, is determined to find Esfit after she flees from Dimitri. Ari, though, seemed to be mainly concerned with correcting Dimitri. He also appears uninterested in Dimitri and Esfit's upcoming nuptials. As a result, he improved his business ties with Farak, Esfit's father. Later on, we discover that everything was done as part of a complex scheme to persuade Farak to betray Esfit's location. Esfit is actually the legal owner of half of the family's assets and money, thus Ari and Leah are eager to marry her to Dimitri. A young Leah and Ari were seen leaving a baby girl outside of an orphanage in a flashback scene. Esfit, Leah's sister-in-law, and her husband Farak subsequently adopt the young woman after she grows up and becomes Esfit. It is clear from this that Leah and Ari defrauded a young girl of her fortune. However, since they only hold a portion of Esfit's wealth, Ari and Leah place importance on Esfit and Dimitri's union. In order to secure his financial future, Ari must seize Esfit's property and funds, which is why he is searching for her. As a result, Ari's quest causes serious issues regarding Esfit's real parentage. Esfit's origins and how she came to be an orphan are still unknown as of right now, though. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.